Hello and welcome to this session on exception handling in Java. I'm Raghav and today we are going to go very basic step by step and see what is exception handling and how do you implement exception handling in a Java project. So let's get started and let us understand what is exception handling and before that we need to understand what is an exception. So an exception is any unexpected condition or behavior during execution of your program and exception handling is handling this unexpected condition or behavior during execution. So in exception handling we catch the exception or the error and then log the messages for troubleshooting. Exception handling also enables us to continue to our other test in case there is a failure in one test it can handle the exception and then continue our testing. So this is what exception handling is all about and if I go to Google and search for exception handling and I will go to images. So let me just show you some images so yeah let us see this. So here you can see we have some code here and in case there is any error or any exception during runtime actually it should not be an error but an exception and I will tell you the difference. So if there is any exception here it should be cached here so we have a try block here all the code is inside a try block and then in the cache block we can handle the exception. So this is how we can uh, handle these exceptions and I will tell you practically so let us look at a very quick and simple practical example. I will go to my Eclipse and here I have this project so I will create a new class in one of my packages so I will go to my source main Java package and create a new class here and I will name this as exception handling demo and say finish and I'm going to create a main method so I will say main and press control space bar to auto complete and I have got this main method and here I can write anything so let's say I say syso I will press control space bar to auto complete stem.out.println and here I am saying hello world and then I am again printing out a statement here completed. Now this is a very simple program if I try to run this I will do a right click run as Java application it's very simple it is just printing hello world and completed here but let's just say during this execution in between we have some statement that is throwing some exception so I will deliberately create a statement I will say int i equals 1 divided by 0. Now here you will not get any compile time errors but of course you will get an exception here so let us see what happens. If I try to run this now I will just hit this run button and do you see what happens? It printed hello world but then it was there was an exception and the execution stopped. So now we have to handle this so that it does not stop abruptly. So for that what we will do is we can create a try block here I will say try and curly braces start and then curly braces stop here and all my code I will just put inside my try block here and a try block has to be followed by a catch or finally block so I will say catch so here I can catch the exception now here you can have multiple catch blocks so I can have one catch block or I can have multiple catch blocks for example I can have one more catch block here but for now let us go with one catch block and here I can handle the exception so I will say here exception and I can give any name exp okay so I'm giving this name and here you can handle any exception so for example I can say iu exception here and then I can give this or arithmetic exception and then you can have multiple catch blocks to catch multiple types of exception but for now I am just saying exception and now here when whenever there will be any exception the control will come to the catch block and here you can print anything so I will say I am inside catch block okay now see if I run this now do you see there was no error it very cleanly came to the catch block it printed hello world and in this statement on this line it there was an exception so it came to catch block and printed this but 
we have not yet troubleshooted our exception so for that what you can do is you can say exp which is our variable here this one and then you if you say dot you can say get message and you can actually print it out on the console so I will just print it out exp dot get message and I can also say here message is and exp dot get message and similarly I can also say I can print out get cause so I will copy paste this and here I will say cause is exp dot get cause okay I have to put a plus sign for concatenation okay and now if I run this do you see it is saying messages divide by zero and there's no cause and if you want you can also print the entire stack trace so you can say exp dot print stack trace so if I run this now you can see it is printing the message and then it is also printing the entire stack trace it will give you the line so if you click here you can see it is taking us to the line that caused the exception and then you can also have a finally block so finally block will always execute irrespective of an exception or not and here you can write any code that you want to be executed irrespective of any exception or not so here you can say I am inside finally block so if I run this now let me just save this you can see we had an exception so it came to the catch block but then finally block was also executed now the other thing about exceptions is you can also throw your exception so for example if I copy this entire code and cut it from here and here I will create a new function public static void demo and I will put this inside this function and in our main function I will just call this demo function okay and I am not putting any try catch block here in this new function and not even the finally block so take care that uh, the try uh, let me just show you again try block has to be followed by one or multiple catch blocks or a finally block so even if you do not give a catch block but there is a finally block even then it is fine and there should not be any statements between try catch or try finally blocks okay so this you have to take care and I'm just deleting all the try catch finally here and let me just show you so here you can see this is now a very simple program as we had earlier and here we have a separate function and it is being called from main function now in case you do not want to catch or handle the exception in this particular function you can also throw it so I can say here in the method signature itself I can say throws and whatever exception you want to throw so you can say exception or IU exception or any uh, kind of exception so what will happen is this exception whenever it will occur it will not be handled here but it will be thrown to the calling function which is main now you can see as soon as I added throws exception it is getting an error in the main function and if I hover over it you can see it is saying add throws declaration or surround with try catch so now in the calling function again either I should throw it or I should use the try catch here so now here I will use the try catch and I can you can see we have now used a try catch here so if I run this now exception will be will come here but it will not be handled here it will be thrown to the calling function which is main and it will be handled here so I can run this now again and you can see it is handled here in the main function okay so this was a very simple example and these are the keywords in exception handling we have seen try catch finally throws and there is also a keyword throw so sometimes if you deliberately want to throw uh, an exception you can say throw and if I say throw uh, let me say arithmetic exception and I will give some message here not valid operation 
so I'm just throwing this exception let me just also yeah I have to say throw new arithmetic exception and here okay so because this is now throwing it here so so this code becomes unreachable so let me just show you this example I will run this now and you see we are getting arithmetic exception not valid operation and this is something I have thrown myself using the throw keyword so you can deliberately throw an exception using the throw keyword so that was all about exception handling let us do a very quick recap we learned exception handling in Java and how to implement exception handling in your project also let me just show you if you see here you can see the super class is object in Java and throwable is the super class for exception so throwable has error and exception we cannot handle error in Java because errors are like uh, out of memory or stack overflow so we cannot handle that but exceptions we can handle and there are runtime exception checked exceptions so I'm not going into too many details here but this is what the hierarchy of, of exception is okay so I hope this session was very useful for you if you like the session please hit the like button and share with everyone and don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can keep receiving new videos from this channel I will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching